Hey, 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 this is Kurt the Boat Doctor. Beautiful day. You better enjoy today. Had to go to the doctor's day. Big Jim, man, he already went to the doctor. He's all taken care of. He's looking good. Uh, 210 Sea Runner, uh, 2023. Beautiful boat. It's got the top, the sides, the backdrops, dual wipers. It's got the little, uh, which I liked on Hughes Craft. Up front there, you'll see them snaps going across that center windshield. There's a zipper behind that, so you can unzip it. Do the rubber snaps on the back you can open it up zip it you don't have to unsnap it <clears throat> same thing here this zips down and that zips goes back there so you got a wing window coming in they do need to clean it up a little bit got the easy loader trailer i see the hey i'd probably peel that off anyway the easy loader missing the a easy load dog easy load dog okay keel roll of course that doesn't uh, it's supposed to Hit the keel strip, which is this. Really good welds on this boat, by the way. Really, really good welds. Wow. These are with the big boys. I mean, them are spot on. <clears throat> anyway, that's for your anger so you don't sit there and scratch up the side of your boat. Window stop, horn, uh, big holes down there, drains. You got your fish box drain. And they added this reverse. Now, this is smart. This right here. And you'll see when I'm on the water. That's out here, so that water, when it's coming off the boat going, it keeps that water spray down and going to the back of the boat. You got the two-speed jack. That's on the low speed right there. See how it's pulled out? It's two-speed. Got the propylene roller instead of the black, leaving black marks. If a guy wanted to, yes, you could cut this down if it's too long for your anchor. So if you put an anchor up there in a nest, I would cut this and just recap it. Swing tongue, if you do have that out, make sure you tuck them trailer wires in so they don't get cut. Cables, always keep an eye on them down the road for cracking. Once they start cracking, replace them because they're rusted from the inside out. Uh, two inch ball, got the peek-a-poo hole, round seven. Break, trailer brake fluid for your brakes, I checked that, that's full. LED lights, got the Hughes Craft Tower, net holder, got the good shine guides. Gear bath oil, brown, good, white, bad. Five lugs. And those are probably ST20575R14, just by looking at them. Welded on downrigger brads. They've got diamond plate there to step on instead of stepping on your paint with a rock and scraping it. Uh, the offshore br bracket or ET bracket is part of the hole. Coming back. Kicker bracket. Off to the port, welded on, good, right height. Uh, you got your good zinc bars double and full time. The other one there is you can put your transducers. Okay, so you got two screens. One's for the wash down, one for the live well. That's probably wash down, that's live well in the main drain there. Yeah. Nice, nice. 150. It's got the 15 pitch aluminum. Uh, there's your oil drain right there. Your P tube over there. Your fresh water flush there. Of course, do not start the motor if you just use this one. If you use the earmuffs or flushers there, then you can use this one. Just wire off your water hose that comes out, get a splitter. One hose goes to that, one hose goes to this. Now, that almost looks like purple. Huh. It's different, that's Sea Star. Yeah. Huh. Oh, then down in here, I didn't look, but I should have. This is how they bolt the motors on. Ah, boy, they're, they're on there. Suction 